Hey love fucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being patient with yourselves, being gentle with yourselves, even though sometimes we can get on our nerves. But it's something we have to go through. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes or good information that you truly need to hear or somebody else needs to hear right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and uh thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me each and every day and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and like I told y'all, I'll be going ahead and put my daughter's website on my videos. The link will be in the description box below if you want to take a, you know, a quick peek at her. The new uh, book she's trying to publish is with different poets and different artists. They collaborated a big, beautiful book. Be able to put all their, you know, all their hard work in this book to go ahead and push it out to the public. So if you can, go ahead and donate. It'll greatly be appreciated. And with that being said, thank you. Uh, if you can <laughs> but anyways the, the, uh, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is like erase all negative energy mental blockages while you sleep deep sleep positive energy meditation and I'll post that link in the description box below and today I've been getting so many downloads and from my, my sister Jessie she's been helping me because I was like dad what is this video I gotta put out next thing you know she'll say something I'm like yeah there it goes and um I've been getting those crazy downloads of things that I need to talk about with y'all that we're all going through it's like twin flame 101 um Hayoka's hey, filtering out past trauma we are filtering out past trauma. You probably get these memory vomits. I say memory vomits because it's just like a burp that you can come up and it tastes some really nasty in the back of your throat. Like, ugh. Okay, and that's what that past trauma is. You see my little cat Irma right there. Um, just going through all that past trauma and you're like, why the hell does this keep popping up in my head? Why? You know, you're trying to have a good day and next thing you know, this stuff is filtering out. Whatever we're getting activated for, like I told you, you know, if you've been with me for a while, I, like I was telling a couple of people, like I think it was last week or the week before last, is that we're all getting activated. If I'm not seeing like a whole bunch of empaths, like a, a down a single row, and then it's just God and universe just snapping fingers and they're like rising up like this, like robots. Or, you know, they're all like this in front of a volcano and, you know, it's like the volcano is erupting. And it's not like we're going through a rapture or anything, but it could be a symbolized, you know, symbolism for something. And I know Miss Mickey was talking about, you know, we're filtering out a lot of things. And she was right on point about that. And it's just like, that's the reason why we keep going through these things. So if you're going through the situation, drop me a line and let me know what's up with you. You know, I'm not, I don't want to be going through this stuff by myself. But I understand that a lot of y'all are going through this as well. You know, it, it could be like, like I said in the last video, you could be going through a beautiful day. Like you want to just lay down in the daisies and, you know, just put rose petals and stuff like that. Just, you know, have a happy day. Then you just feel like all hell's about to break loose. You know, going through things like past trauma will come up and it's like stuff that you're not even thinking about or forgot all about. You're like, what the heck did this come from? Like, why would I want to be thinking about something like this? And it is just like, it just keeps popping up, but it's like universe source is all telling me from the downloads that I'm getting that these things need to be filtered out because what you're about to step forward in, into, you can't have all these things in the way, you know, because they need you up front and attention. So whatever you are going through right now, it has a reason for it to be coming out right now, um, especially about different past trauma that you probably went through as a child you probably went through a loved one significant other best friend you know just boss <laughs> co-worker you know things just like that 
And it's like we all have to let go of these things because it's just like when you're heading towards something big and beautiful and you're heading toward those big blessings, you can't have all that, you know, that negative energy in your way because it's going to mess up something. And it's just like with us being empaths, we already have that energy that can shift up something really quick. So it's just like if it's going to be anything shifting, it needs to be something big and beautiful that's in your heart as well as in your mind. It can't have all these crazy negative thoughts going through your head because you're going to get distracted from the things that you you need to pay attention to because it's like I've talked to people and it just seems like you know I'm, I'm having memories of our past lives and there's a lot of people I can't really tell that to that has to be something you have to remember you know I can remember and it's just like the heck I can't say nothing <laughs> you know because we're all like recycled souls we have all played a part in each other's lives at one way or another what one shape form or fashion you know it could have been many millenniums ago you know being in Jerusalem or something like that or there's times I remember when I was in Egypt back in the day. That's why I love a lot of Egyptian things. Um, and it's just like we're, we're starting to remember these things for a reason. Because we're playing a major part in some situation that they're not telling me about. But you know there's something coming. If you're an empath and you know you're in touch with the energy. You know there's something that's cycling off that something is about to end pretty soon. So you're going through so much hell right now because darkness does not want to see you. And that limelight does not so you know he will play he will play a major part on that to try to mess up some stuff and throw a monkey wrench in your 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 program so it's just like when they're shifting like that trust and believe you have to go through this you're going through many things that is not yet being explained but you know there's you, you know there's a reason for it happening but you're like why am I going through this now you know I could have had a good day and next thing you know this has got my mood all funky you know and it's gonna go through that you're gonna go through that because source says you have to this is something that everything needs to be filtered out so you can start that clean slate of life that you are well deserved of you know yeah you might be going through hell and high water right now you might be pushing out love and energy and positivity, but you're getting crap back, you know, and you're like, wait a minute, you know, what I, you, what y'all told me is I, whatever I put out is what I supposed to get back, but I'm not getting that back. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting negativity back, but it's like darkness wants to go ahead and make rain on your parade because they know you're that beautiful soul that is supposed to be at that limelight, but whatever is coming, they need you to be at for, for, uh, front and center what I'm trying to say front front and center so if you're going through this know you're going through it for a reason they're filtering out all past trauma that you need to go ahead and wipe away with you know be happy knowing that this is not happening to you no more but for these things for you to be able to enjoy the beautiful things that are coming into your life you have to get rid of the old things you know if you're still carrying that baggage around what room are you going to have to pick up all the positive things? You have to think about that. I had to think about that. Thank you so much, Jesse. I love you because you, if you wouldn't have mentioned something like that, it would have never been, ka -ding, you know? So, <laughs> y'all, it, it's just been crazy. It's just been really crazy. So, know that you are going through this for a reason, knowing that you have to filter out all this past trauma. All these things that you're going through, you're going through it for a reason because all your blessings are heading towards your way and you have to be able to have room in your heart and your mind and your spirit and your energy for these big, beautiful things that are coming. So all these ugly, nasty, dark things that you have cluttered in there can be wiped out so you have room for bigger things to come. So I hope you're able to resonate with the video. Drop me a line and let me know if you're feeling that way. You know, you could be having a good day. Next thing you know, a crappy day comes right along after that. So knowing, you know, everything's going to be good, but just stay strong, be vigilant, be resilient, and know that these things happen for a reason. So much love to you. Drop me a line. You know, like and subscribe. Share, share, share. Give me a thumbs up. Send out as much love and light as you possibly can, knowing better days are coming for you. And uh, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing, you know... There's always someone out there praying for your better days. So my post notification shout out goes to Ja for Life, Donna Hardy, and Lauren376. Much love to you. Sending love and blessings as always. Hoping everybody has a blessed, safe week starting off this Monday. You know, it's been relaxing. So I hope you are able to have a good day. So, um... Like I said, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, share please, and have a blessed, safe week. Be responsible for everything you do, and peace, and be wild.